furniture made from fungus could offer a novel alternative to conventional manufacture and the waste associated with mass production. An idea how we want to document responses during the show. Mm. We can actually leave Designers in London have devised a method to grow their own bench. furniture using the thread-like vegetative part of fungus called mycelium. The procedure, known as biofacture, mixes waste wood chip with mycelium from a fungus species commonly known as horsehead fungus, Homes fomentarius. Designer and furniture maker Sebastian Cox said he and colleague Don L.A. Ivanova identified this mycelium species as particularly effective when combined with wood chip from coppice, hazel, and goat, willow. To make furniture from mycelium and wood, uh, we take green wood, sterilize it, and then introduce uh, the mycelium, which is grown on a grain, to the wood. And then over time, um, that spreads throughout the wood uh, and you have what we call myceliated wood. At that point, we then take it, tear it apart, put it into a mold, and then it regrows within that mold into the shape that we want it. Very strong argument. So far, they've created lampshades and stools using the process, all of which are lightweight, structurally strong, and fire retardant. They're also completely compostable. Cox hopes his furniture could also change the reputation of the wood they're using, mainly hazel and goat willow. So mycelium is effectively fungus and uh, the way that that grows is it has a, a sort of a hair-like linear property which we can kind of use to grow through the wood and bind it together. Cox hopes his furniture could also change the reputation of the wood they're using, mainly hazel and goat willow. Two species of British wood largely without economic value and often uh, considered the, as waste. The grain. This is commercially available spawn that we then mix with our wood chips and shavings. So that's mycelium, the white stuff, uh, grown on um, grain. Um, it's a low energy process, so it doesn't require light, uh, temperature or any specific uh, humidity uh, conditions. Uh, it's also a very fast process, so it allows us to have a piece ready in four to six weeks. Several pieces of their grown furniture um, have gone on display for the first time at an exhibition in London coinciding with the London Design Festival, September 18 to 24. Some of the species that we're working with don't even have a very good property as firewood. So if we can find a use for it and actually create a commercial demand for that material, that's much better for the woodlands which are being managed and harvest, harvested. Cox and his team are now investigating how their like method could be upscaled yeah. and commercialized. Two layers of growth. However, convincing people to have fungus furniture in their Customer homes is still a challenge to overcome. Uh, mold and has created the piece that we intended to create. We take it out of the mold and... So as designers we can control the process uh, by understanding how the fungus behaves. We can decide when we want to terminate the process and preserve the shape and the textures as they are. At that point we then dry the piece and it's ready. We really want to encourage people to think of this as a a material that you'd be really happy to have in your home and explain to people that it's perfectly safe and, and, and it's not gross, it's actually really beautiful, it feels soft and lovely, it's got all of the kind of really appealing properties of things like velvet or leather. Um, when it was wet? See, I think that this is, I, I think that see. there's as much chance of this going mouldy as this would. Exactly. So this is like 8% moisture now, probably. If that's what the, um, you know, what, what we dry wood to, then I would imagine that this would be similar. And I therefore think that this is very unlikely to... Yeah, I will see, like...